Hello and welcome to another episode of the Kids Days in the Podcast. I'm your host, Trey Cooper, and joining me today is, of course... Uh, Sunshine on Solomon. God, they're always bad. <laughs> they're always bad. We can't belabor that because we have two guests with us today. Um, you probably know them from their podcast. Maybe. What's it yeah. called again? I've never heard it before. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> Let's say it at the same time. Nothing, Nothing to, to snore, snore at. at. Yes. With Abby and Zach. We're really in sync. Yeah, just like the yeah, band. Boy, band. <laughs> hey, <dude. laughs> That's sort of like the most fake laugh. I think I've that ever... was the most I'm being forced to laugh because the guest, <laughs> there are guests on our podcast. Well, you got to be polite. Right. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's what we focus on here is we're always politeness. <laughs> yep. um, so we wouldn't know. You guys are uh, second timers. We are second we are. timers. Three more yeah, times. Yeah, sophomore three more times you get the episode. gold jacket. I am so excited. Wait, Three more yeah. times? I've done this a lot more than they have. You don't get anything. <laughs> you? On our fifth episode, we get a golden wow. jacket. A gold jacket, yes. We got to do this more I mean, you're often. absolutely not going to get one. Right. But, um, <laughs> I mean, we'll it's the see. thought that counts. Well, I mean, who knows? By the fifth time. We know, we know a lot of the theater folks in town. We could sure. probably steal a couple yeah. gold jackets that for you. I'm sure there's a gold jacket yeah. in some costume closet somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to find out, though, when, when we they were saying it out loud. And then everyone's ever been on the podcast is where like, where's our gold jacket yeah, exactly you really set hunt. this up for failure <laughs> yeah. so look there's a there's a lot of movies that we could have been talking about this week <laughs> but right? we didn't uh, yeah um uh you know uh maverick came out yeah yep. um top gun did anybody see that i have i've been wanting to see it but i haven't seen it yet wow okay now we, we can after can your you sister. imagine if I had? What a prank that would have been. Yeah, that would be hilarious. Oh, I would laugh so hard. I actually think <laughs> I actually think that if you walked into the movie theater, the apocalypse would happen. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean I have done it before. Have you and we're you all have here been in the movie theater. I don't yeah. think that's have true. Have you been I've in, been the in new every one, movie theater in Waco? Have you been to the new Cinemark? Cinemark? I have with my mother. Do you just go there to get what? <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Sorry, yeah. I claimed her as solely mine <laughs> in that moment. It's all right. You can take her. That's me. Whoa. I'm going to call Jill right now and tell her <laughs> oh, you're no. disowning her. Oh, you did, you did go see a movie I did. recently. I did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> and the Are apocalypse you didn't happen. Me? Wow. What movie was it? I'm trying to remember. Uh, Something that she wanted me to watch with her. Uh, the, I, I tried to actually pawn Zach yeah. off to go see it with her. It was on Mother's Day. I was like, Zach, you didn't spend any time with mom today. That's the reason it was memorable because I never ever see on your social media anything about going to the movie theater. <laughs> right, because so I don't. It, it was, <laughs> yeah. And I also was scared. We went to a bunker and waited for you know, <laughs> the four horsemen to it was come that, down. It was that lost treasure island. Oh, the lost yeah. city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. one, yeah. I almost walked out on the I airplane. Mean. Um, but then I the didn't. Airplane. The airplane, the classic. <laughs> classic. That's where I always watch movies. Well, look, it's a, it's a pretty long preamble without us telling right. everybody what we're actually talking about today. Hint. Give him a hint. So, yeah, a hint of a movie. No one. So, what we're going to talk about is a movie that you can't even watch in That's, the United States unless remember. unless. Oh. Okay. You go on YouTube and find the Blu-ray rip because right. of copyright issues. This movie was not able to come to the uh, sunny America. shores of America. That's how you know it's good. That's how you yeah. know. <laughs> um, but the movie's called Sunshine on Leith. Woo. Um, it is, the best way I can describe it is if it's like Mamma Mia. You know, Mamma Mia mm -hmm. is a musical. It's based on mm -hmm. an ABBA album. And is that how you, is it, is yeah. it ABBA? ABBA. It's, not, it's not pronounced a different way. It, it's like ABBA the fault. Yeah, no, it's not, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's ABBA. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's like that, except for it's a based on the... Proclaimers album, Sunshine on Leith, and they wrote an entire musical based on that. Uh, it got incredible reviews in the UK when it came out, and they ended up taking it to the West End, mm -hmm. and they did a whole show. West End is like, you know, the UK's version of, you know, Broadway, mm -hmm. and they did a show. It won a lot of awards. The movie came out to a lot of accolades, but then because of copyright issues, they just couldn't, Yeah. Yeah. never made it over here. Yep. And it's so horrifying to me because it's such a great movie mm -hmm. that nobody mm -hmm. gets to watch it uh -huh. so i thought it was worth doing an entire special episode <laughs> yeah. with special guests to oh, discuss special. this movie which might based on been. zach's reaction mm -hmm. i don't feel like he felt the same way <laughs> we might not be the best people to be the special guests <laughs> zach hated it and i don't remember I, I it didn't, i didn't hate it i didn't hate it i gave it um 
Uh, don't rate it yet. Sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But it sounded like he was about to say it too, so this is gonna be really <laughs> heated. Um but yeah, so put your uh, leather box away. I, I was making sure I knew what I rated it. Well you can rate it whatever. We have like an arbitrary rating yeah, system. Right. Yeah, I was I just mean, making sure. We'll just say you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <Can> you <laughs> yeah. I mean it's your podcast, so wouldn't that be funny? We'd actually have him walked out. Security, are you prepared? <laughs> oh, there's cameras now. I, we can't yeah, do the same bit. Yeah, you look so unbelievably stupid. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, so, entirely. Sunshine yeah. on Leith. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we're here to, I, you know, in theory, discuss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're still going to discuss theory. it. <laughs> well, I mean, it seems like we might uh, be beating around the bushes a little bit. <laughs> beating around the bushes. <laughs> That's not. Ah, uh, I hit the bushes. I never told you that bushes. Story. Why would the bushes the go bushes. ding? <laughs> Wait, why is it go inside of the bushes? Uh, it's the uh, steel. It's the. Um, yep. The, yep. The magnolias are steel, not Good not one. bushes. I've seen that. Have you? <laughs> and not the movie version. I was going to say one act play. <laughs> yeah. No, not a one act. I think I've seen the full version. I've seen when, the full version. Didn't Civic do it a few years ago? Midway did. I, I, I didn't ago. see Midway. I wasn't no. here. Oh yeah, sorry. Midway just did it. As a true Waco, and I saw it at our local theater's production. I am the local theater, okay? <laughs> that is a bold, bold oh, statement. Man, Solomon, that was like, Solomon's gonna inflate. That was your like palpity and like, <laughs> I am the Senate. But <laughs> I get that reference. I am, no, you've seen that. <laughs> you've seen yeah, Star, Star Wars? Wars yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Also, it's weird Star thing Wars for Solomon to say, considering he didn't get cast in the last thing in audition. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's the last Wait, thing you were legally blonde? I got a cast in one of the shows. I just couldn't cast both. them both oh. because you, know, you can't one? cast a thousand people. It's actually really funny. Yeah, that's why. Zach. You can't cast a thousand yeah. people. Wow. <laughs> Solomon's ego is so big. No, that's he doesn't get cast. He's, he's like, a, they wanted you know to cast me. They just couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no. But seriously, though, that did hurt. What so. show did you not what, get Yeah, what show? Uh, is it? What's funny is um, it was for a show that. that I didn't want to get cast in anyway. Mm, I bet. It was, you know, the show that Midway did? There's Cinderella? Several. Cinderella. Oh. Oh, you tried it for Cinderella? Yes. He, he tried for the part of Cinderella. Yep. Oh. And Actually, that the is a dream The glass slipper role. didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, shh. I wanted there to be. <laughs> Thank you for the sound yeah, effect. I didn't know I, you were I, I, I told joke. I told uh, I told Mike that I wanted to have like little sound effect things in yeah. here, and he 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 has them. Oh. But we haven't taken the time to program oh. them with the sound. Yeah, he has like there's these little things that you can. Zach, can we push add them? We would also like yes. but just randomly. We make, we make our own. Sound I want it to only sure be fart noises that I just make every time Solomon says something stupid. <laughs> just anything. That's any so it'll time just Solomon sound speaks. like you're in a room with somebody with IBS. I'm right. Like, hey, so just like Solomon. Yeah. yeah. So guys, see what I was saying? We don't know if that's really what I have. <laughs> okay, guys. You could have gallstones. That's what happened to me. Mm. Yep. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I extensively know your medical history. Thanks, Thanks for reminding me. Thanks, Abby. You're the best. I know. So like I said, beating around the bushes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> I still wanted to tell this very quick anecdote about our brother in LA. Let's he, do it. So in Waco, there's Bush's Chicken, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's not really much else. Uh, it, it, it's not expansive. It's just very in, central in, Texas. In and out. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not in Los Angeles, California. Absolutely not. And no. so <laughs> Garrett is a PA at Access Hollywood. And as you know, part of the job, you have to go get the chicken deliveries. Of course. Um, so they had <laughs> they had KFC getting delivered, but his uh, um, at Access Hollywood KFC. Yeah, That's I know. Surprising. We tell all on can't this even, podcast. They can't even go, can go to Popeye's. <laughs> Man. And so um, he's standing out there mm. with a few other PAs waiting for the chicken. Um, but because of his schema and only really eating bushes that much, that word means like the the life experience. She knows that you're have. stupid, so she has to explain. <laughs> he made a face. He made you. a face. Um, because of his life experience, he thought he was just thinking bushes, right? So he said, guys, where's the bushes? And the other two PAs awkwardly pointed at the shrubbery nearby because nobody oh in LA knows what bushes are. And our older brother looked like an idiot oh. on that Access Hollywood oh. lawn. Well, I mean, he always does. That is yeah. That would be, that is a really good, that's a good anecdote. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That was a great anecdote. I feel anecdote. like you're being yeah. sarcastic. No, that was an actually, it was, was a very good so, anecdote. Such no, a Abby, that was a great anecdote. Oh, no. Abby, <laughs> what a phenomenal, phen beautiful you're mocking me. Yeah. That, I was, was hanging on every word, Abby. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Anecdotes, nice. <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. So, yeah, we were really getting off topic. Yeah, he was right. Yes. We were going to be. So, uh, <laughs> the movie again that we're talking about is called Sunshine, Sunshine on, on Leith. Leith. 
Um, Good job, everyone. And, I didn't say it. The, so the director of this movie, Scottish director, he has a really cool name. It sounds almost like a Star Wars name. Ooh. His name is a Dexter Fletcher. That Ooh. is a very Star Wars name. You love that last name. Fletcher? I yeah. do. You're do you? actually, are you I do. Name, is, are you going to name your first child's last name Fletcher? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Zach's been on the hunt for a Fletcher mm -hmm. so he can change yeah. his last name. Um, but yeah, this so this movie is a, like I said, it's a musical based on the Proclaimers album. We call those jukebox musicals. Uh, jukebox musicals? Mm -hmm. Jukebox. In the theater well also, world. Also, here's a fun little thing. Oh. This is his name in Arabesh. Uh, hey, the Zach, Star Wars language. What in the world? Sorry. That's amazing, actually. And I'm <laughs> Play it out loud, I guess. It doesn't, like, it's just... You look, look so stupid That's just right what now. it looks like. Well, that's worthless, then. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely I just, worthless. I just, this, is a, this is, I mean, I, people I, can watch yeah, it. Yeah, they can watch but it. This is, look, uh, this I just is wanted to show you guys. This was a little... Audio You know what, Zach? Format. I appreciated that. Yeah. That's cool. That's an interesting thing that you showed <laughs> anyway, us. Anyway, Trey, do you want to talk about this movie? <laughs> yeah, this Apparently, I'm the only person who would like to I love this movie. Look, guys, we're five, four minutes away from where we take our first... First break. <laughs> we haven't talked about the movie at all. So yes, it's a jukebox musical based mm -hmm. on the Proclaimers. So most of you probably only have heard of 500 Miles. Right. That's yes. right. Everybody's heard that song. And song. I'm not going to lie. When I first watched this movie, um, that's the only Proclaimer song that I had ever heard before. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I kind of like to do the thing at the very beginning where we talk about, you know, what's your history with this thing oh, or whatever. Right. But I don't think it's really necessary here because probably going to be I was well, an no, avid we can. Proclaimers I mean, fan before this movie. Oh, were you? No. Exactly. Well, Abby and I. Weird. Abby and oh. I I feel like have a well, at least me, but I felt like Abby as well have a strong connection to the song 500 Miles cuz every time we would take a road I did trip. Tell the story. Every okay. time we took a road trip, we would, uh, anytime it was, if we did 500 miles or to the beach. We take a 22 hour straight road yes, trip to every, North Carolina. Most summers. Straight? Yes. Straight. Just no breaks. Yeah. That's not a driving sound. No, Sorry. it was not. It was like a sliding sound. <laughs> um, let me go with. Thank you. Yeah, much better. Much better. <laughs> now we're doing an audio play. <laughs> um, so, 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 yeah, yeah. like that. The, the thing is that I know that most people, yeah. it's just going to be that song, right? right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I will say that the way I found this movie wasn't because I was trolling through, uh, you know, uh, pretentious foreign films that right. nobody's ever mm -hmm. seen before. Mm -hmm. Which is a pastime of yours, I'm sure. It uh, has been, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But in this case, it was, I was working at a call center a long, mm. long time ago. Mm. Um, it's the worst job away. that anybody could ever have. Um, most people, I really do think, would rather um, hang themselves than <laughs> wow. this job. Gosh. No, it's a, it's a terrible, it's a horrible, awful, terrible job. Dead. You call people, and then they um, scream at you. Mm. And then- Some people are into that. Yeah. Well, hey, yo. I wasn't so much then. <laughs> so much Dad. then. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> it's a kid's show. Oh. It's not a kid's show. It's actually not. Well, there's a kid in the show. Right. There's two kids in the show. Actually, there's, there's two grown adults. There's two. I am not a there grown and I apologize. adult. Go ahead. Anyway. Um, regardless of people's kinks about getting screamed out on the phone, <laughs> Dad. Uh, it's a very terrible job. And uh, sometimes you have a lot of downtime and we had found this one website where you could watch illegally pirated videos. And, it had got, and nobody knew about the site because it was from Europe. So it went it went through the filters because mm. they, they filtered out everything. No right. they, they wanted no fun here. Yeah, that <laughs> Facebook was obviously like blocked everything. Yeah. Pandora, cool math like anything that had yeah. music. <laughs> but, this, but this one place wasn't blocked. And it had like, a, you know, a lot of ripped copies of different movies. Mm. And I had gone through all of them. And then this movie called Sunshine and Leith was on there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is my favorite movie like it was about halfway through yeah, I told you I know how it's gonna go um <laughs> so I was like halfway through I was like this is my favorite movie I said love this movie I was like crying by the end of it because I loved it so much like not Cry like wow. yeah it's not I mean it's not a sad movie yeah. crying out of affection crying out of hap crying oh crying the Texans came out yes I was crying out of like <laughs> sheer joy but then I couldn't show it to anybody uh-huh um, and then a friend of mine, uh, she found out that I liked the movie, so she bought me a region-free DVD player and oh. bought me a UK copy of the DVD. And then Wait I a minute. showed it. Region-free? Are certain DVD players not able to play other? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, what does it do? It just says it's like, no. no. It says, yeah, it says 
F can't off, do this. you can't do this. Yeah, it actually wow, screams really at you <laughs> going back. <laughs> really? Oh, call back. Nice call back, <laughs> you think, yeah. Um, That's, wait, like, it just, like, knows your location? It just won't work. No, 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 it's not like that. It's like, it, the, the DVD, DVD player, the, the DVD is player from itself will, will say does not recognize this format. Yeah, so, like, the American... <sighs> yeah, we don't have to worry about that Thanks. anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But either way, still, now, you have to get a VPN. now everything's, like, streaming, so you think you'd be able to watch this movie? Nada. No. Just can't, but you can now because of some delightful hacker who put it all up right. on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel so, like now the feds are going to know, though, because yeah. we're putting them on blast. I think that... We've already watched but, it. But nobody, I only need to watch it once. Nobody cares because, like I said, the copyright <laughs> yeah. in America, they couldn't get it switched right. over. So nobody in America is gonna be, c- cares about like yeah. getting it taken down. No sure. one's like losing money off of it. Right. Mm. Um, so yeah, like like uh, let's just go ahead and dive right in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. I, don't, what are, I don't know what Solomon was doing, gazing off the opposite direction. Well, I was looking at something. Um, Your own reflection. <laughs> I'm scared now. Black what's behind felt me? Curtains. Yeah. Um. So like the 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 plot of the movie is pretty thin. It's kind of like uh like Mamma Mia. It's not the plot of Mamma Mia, but like it's thin as Mamma Mia. What Mia's you're doing is just comparing two seen. jukebox musicals over and over, just because they have that in common. Yeah, but like what are what are what is what is another one that you say like I mean I know I know there are several. Billy Joel has one. I can't remember what it's called. Billy Joel has a jukebox musical. I just um, I'm hoping we're gonna conjure it out of thin air. <laughs> but I, I think does I think, he? I, think I it, have to know. I, I don't think it's a oh. movie, but I, I'm pretty sure there was one. And on immediately Broadway. make it produced in this area so I could be in it. Um, I'm what, an what, 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 what's Joel another one? That, like what's another movie that you would say? Okay, plot? yeah, there's not a lot of um, movies which that has a thin plot. Musicals. No, no, no. With the, it's, a, it's where it's a, just an al- one album that they wrote an entire. Musical. show around i mean i know there's been a couple um, popular ju- sing too really <laughs> it said that. Okay, that's see, not one so, album, so when though. i think of a jukebox musical that's exactly what i think of it's like moulin rouge right oh, like okay. sure i'm talking about a movie where it's one album made by one person yeah the issue is i haven't seen a lot of these that's no. so seen a lot of anything abby <laughs> so i don't know like rocket man did it only use one album rocket or all yeah of but it's a biopic yeah that's okay so different. it's different okay sorry i'm um, singing in the rain I'm that's that's just a normal. I'm very excited for Elvis. Singing in the rain. There wasn't even jukeboxes back then. In the rain. <laughs> I don't know. This is what Google's ever. telling me. Yeah, you you and Solomon are the, exactly the same at using Google. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so insulted by that f- phrase. I actually that's don't rude. know. That's huh? rude. Please don't feel insulted. <laughs> it's a gift. It's, it's... Sorry, I'll just change my feelings. Anyway, so, like, thank you. Look, the plot of this movie is like pretty thin, mm. but like it's uh, essentially, and also it's kind of like a time capsule because when it was made and when we all saw it, you guys saw it like right. fairly recently. Yeah. So it's really weird because the movie came out uh, right around, like right after like uh, like the Iraq War time. Mm. Mm. So it starts with the Scottish regiment in the Iraq right. War yeah. with their and then, silly little tomorrow. outfits. Yes, and they oh, well, that's rude. Day. They're heroes, and they get blown up you by bombs. You called them silly when you watched it. Did I call it silly in front of everybody, in front of God and country, and our millions of viewers? Right, right. They do wear like they. Oh my God! What? You can hang on for one second. That was the song that you were talking about. Yeah, but you're singing it while we're all talking about it. You can sing it in one second. I'll let you sing it. Um, uh, but yeah, the like opposite it, of us, Abby. You trying to get me to sing, and I just won't. It's it's very it's very odd because the movie does start off like with a convoy in Iraq, mm-hmm. and they start singing this song, and then they get all blowed up. Yeah, right. Uh, and now Solomon, if you'd like to sing the song, already t- passed the time passed. Eh, exactly, that's what could I thought. Be tomorrow, <laughs> or it could be today. When this guy, honestly, so I thought that was the best song uh, from. The uh, yeah. from the movie that yeah. I I haven't li- just listened to the album itself. It's a good song. It's a good but one. I, it's respectful. I, yeah, I I really enjoyed that song. Um, and then obviously Five Hundred Miles, but those definitely were my top two. Well, they they did it. They I honestly think that that's one of the things that I really like about this movie is I thought that they found with a few exceptions a really organic way of to put the, putting all these yes, songs. I would in agree. There. I would agree. That, if you listen to that, it could be tomorrow, could be today song mm-hmm. on the album. I mean, that song is not about the Iraq war. Yeah. Right. It's definitely not about a bunch of soldiers in a platoon or anything. You know, so the way that they found to like yeah. to make these songs match, you yeah. know, this kind of convoluted plot about uh, you know, the the parents 
finding out like the dad finding out that an affair that he had a long time ago right. had resulted in a kid and then basically the rest of it is just about you know a couple of kids who were in love and like their relationship yeah. issues yeah. You know, there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of you know, it's like adult version of High School the Musical for all intents and purposes. You keep saying High School the Musical. <laughs> I know. Is it not it's called that? Annoying. High School Musical. musical. And if you're what you're getting mistaken, go ahead. It, if you're getting it confused with, and you're still wrong, um, is High School Musical the Musical the series? It's just High School Musical, not High School the Musical. Oh, really? Yes. Well, whenever I was musical. in high school, I wrote a musical called High School the Musical. Did you so really? maybe I was right. Maybe I was referring oh to that. I really you were, but you, you were. But you weren't. I just don't think How do you know I wasn't? I don't. Because you told been. me about your musical, and that's not what it was. It was called High School the Musical. Yeah, but that's not what you were referring to. How do you know? Dad. <laughs> and I, I guess ground you. I guess by Abby's definition, that also was a jukebox musical. Because I guess, <laughs> I just took a bunch of different songs from pop artists, but I did rewrite all the lyrics. So what would you call that? Ooh. I think you've and made a genre all your own. <laughs> oh God, and I'm just doing this shabby podcast? <laughs> You're so rude. Your word's not ours. <laughs> I mean, um, look at our guests, am I right? Oh, wow. <laughs> I did a Rodney Dangerfield, that really dated me. I don't get no respect. Oh God. I, I do I do the uh, erm awkward occasionally. Um, Sorry? What you is know, that from? Yeah, what are you talking uh, I'm trying about to, right now? It, just a, Sweet well, Life of Zack and Cody. Did you just <laughs> pick the one TV show our generation is known for liking? I can't think of yes. another one. <laughs> Figure it, it out. <laughs> um, I would like to comment on the soundtrack in that you said that it is impossible to find the movie version of the soundtrack. And my very first Spotify search found it. Immediately. Did I say that? You did. You were like, I hate that I just have to listen to the Proclaimers album because I'd love to hear these art or actors sing so it. This that's was like, all I was listening to. No, not the, the good no it, so like six years ago is whenever I found this mm -hmm. musical mm -hmm. and then it was really, really difficult. Um, uh, we're like way over break. So we need to like take a quick pause and hear from our sponsors and we'll be right back with uh, mm -hmm. Zach and Cody. And, uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> And now, a word from our sponsors. Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and, and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best, and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah. That's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about... Hi, this is Sarah. And I'm Carter. And this is Some of Our Thoughts. We're two Southern sommeliers, and we want to share everything we love and know about wine. We started hanging out during quarantine and cooking and drinking and listening to music, and we just thought this would be a great way to bring everything we know to you guys. We will make wine knowledge and food pairings easy and approachable. So put on your favorite vinyl, grab your favorite glass of wine, tune into our show, and let's have some fun. Wine, wine and vinyl. vinyl. <laughs> so check us out on roguemedianetwork.com or wherever you get your favorite podcast. 
we'll be talking about a lot. <laughs> Ready? You want to bring us back? No, let's get the guests do it. Bring us back then. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> We have two very different podcasts. <laughs> I wouldn't wow. call them all that different. They yep. have movies in common. That's true. They do have movies in common. Just how we present <laughs> ourselves. I think we are just um, on a different we plane are. than most people. Yeah, that's and true. And it's unfortunate. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. to uh, we were told to bring stays us in back. The yeah. Kids stays in the podcast. That's the name of this show. Mm -hmm. I, I, we won't be asked to stay. I actually don't know yeah. what what show we're doing anymore. Are we doing nothing to snore at right no, now? We're no, not. we're not doing nothing. <laughs> no, we're doing yeah. Kid stays in the podcast, and we're talking about sunshine on Leith, or at least we're tricking you into thinking we're going to talk about it. <laughs> so far, we haven't uh, gone too far into it. But anyway, so uh, Abby was talking about the, the soundtrack. I thought she was going to go into depth about some of the songs. Um, I don't remember but this. instead, she was just making fun of uh, my inability to use the internet. Yeah. Well, um, you kind of came for Solomon and I's next, so I wanted to level the playing field. Nope, I totally get it and completely fair. But <laughs> I think we, we should talk about the, the music, right? So yeah. most yeah, of us music. have only heard 500 Miles. Yes. Right. So you, you now have heard the entire album of, of Sunshine on Leith. Mm -hmm. And right. we can do this round robin or we can do uh, the thing where we all Nothing talk robin. over each other or whatever. But uh, but what did you guys think about the the music once you you know got to hear the entire soundtrack? Did it make you interested in listening to the Proclaimers, or make you more like, oh, that's why this is the only song that you know made it out of the country? Uh, well, definitely, I I had no idea before this podcast that it was just made around this. I feel um, like I explained that to you. You, I don't listen. Well, to you, you did miss the screening. I yes, <laughs> this is true. Uh, but that that does um bump up. The uh, the movie itself for me um, having to put this because um, this album was made way before or not way before but yes way before way before mm -hmm. um, before this movie and then having to connect all of them were right. they in order by chance or was it just I don't think I don't so believe okay so. that'd be impressive that would be very impressive I mean it's that, still very let's get on it <laughs> it's still very impressive that they created the story around right. these songs yeah um, which definitely I think enhances the movie itself right yeah um and if you listen to the album most of the songs are like really upbeat mm -hmm. and poppy or poppy yeah we got back it. In the yeah day. um so to make it about like a, uh, some returning iraq war veterans yeah. to scotland you know definitely not what right. the proclaimers right. were thinking about Their whenever original they, intention yeah whenever they wrote it um true yeah so did but did you like the music or were you kind of fumbling through it uh i Part of, part of the um, fun of the movie, watching the movie, I think, was trying to understand yeah. uh, what was going on with the very thick Scottish accents. Right. Mm -hmm. um, no captions in No captions. I was really yeah, you could, I, I actually offered to turn them on, but yeah. then I, I couldn't. They, were, they didn't exist. Um, they were translating so, for me <laughs> quite um, a bit of it. I think I definitely would have... Um, I, I enjoyed the sound of the music. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I enjoyed the uh, point of like the lyrics themselves because I don't know mm -hmm. if I understood Understood. all of them. Um, but I definitely, um, especially the very first song, uh, I thought worked really, really well. Mm -hmm. Um, and that that was where the movie lost you after that. <laughs> 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 then it wasn't immediately yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you said it took you 15 minutes to get into it. it. Well, it took me 15 minutes to, to realize sure. that this is the movie right. that I should be watching. I thought I'm... Yeah, me too. And I was actively <laughs> watching it with him. I was still unsure. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I did enjoy the songs. Um, I also enjoyed the one on the staircase. I thought that was... Mm -hmm. I love that song. It was, I'll sing it for you right now. Please do. Please. <laughs> um, well, wait. Whoa. No, go ahead. You sing offered. It. Yeah. Well, now I feel weird. It's fine. <laughs> I'll sing it later. <laughs> you feel weird now when we're all asking you to sing. So but when we were having a conversation. That's the song I was singing when I walked in here. Mm. <laughs> Just letting y'all know. Thanks. You'll Just have to know, refresh people. my memory. Yeah, nobody else got, nobody who's listening to us knows what you sang when you got in here. I hope not. Oh, no. That'd be a little crazy. Mm -hmm. That'd be. Mm -hmm. I don't, <laughs> it goes like that. Thanks, <laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Well, um, so the Weird funny thing shyness. is, so you know, I was telling you, like, I, my friend got me this region-free DVD player. It's going all around, carting right. this mm -hmm. thing all over the place, <laughs> trying to 
convert people into yeah. wow. into this. <laughs> no, I'm so telling you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, my new religion. <laughs> and what's funny is Salma would never watch it. He was like, I don't watch it. Blah, blah, blah. And then when we went to London, it's like playing on loop all the time. Like it's like one of those movies just wow. always on TV, mm-hmm. which is one weird because it's a musical. And yeah. how often yeah. does that normally happen? But then Solomon watched it and he loved it. And it, but the problem is the song that got stuck in his head is over and done with. And he was mm-hmm. 10 years old. Right. So we'd be going around town <laughs> and he would start singing this song. And the only part he could remember was, this, this is, is a song about losing my virginity. <laughs> and I'm like, I close oh. my eyes and I pray to the Trinity. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, oh, you, now sick. I was like, don't, I was like, don't, uh, don't be <laughs> singing that part. <laughs> Skip to the next verse. <laughs> what I'm so confused about is you seem to obviously really like it when you were 10, but then when we watched it, it was like he was discovering it all for the first time. Well, which, I loved fair. it again because I hadn't heard it in so long. Five oh, okay. years. Yeah, he hadn't seen it in five oh, years. Because okay. like I said, I, I we've moved several times since mm-hmm. then. I don't have that region free DVD oh, player anymore. Oh, what you do with Ooh. it? I don't you were know. partnered Aided. around. No, I just like... This is this guy's this is a n- kind gift from your yeah. friend. You just it's region free. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. At some the... point, it just got lost in one of the move, many lost moves. Lost in trans. So the same, but just so you know, the same friend is the one who messaged me and said, mm. and her name is Anna Hill. So Anna, shout, shout out to you. Love you. Um, but she texted her. me. She's like, I just watched uh, Sunshine on Leith, and I was like, mm. Oh, did you like have to go get the region free thing? She's like, No, there's a Blu-ray rip now on YouTube, and they haven't mm. taken it down yet. And so that's when I immediately was right, like, oh, we have course. to do a podcast um, of course. Uh, about this. And we planned it um, weeks and weeks in advance. Seven weeks uh, ago, so, so uh, it says. Uh, Zach forgot that we had planned it for weeks and weeks. <laughs> what is so infuriating to me is oh, that great. on our recording day, y'all happened to record that day too. We ran into you guys like three mm-hmm. days before. Right. I said, we all said, yep, we're, we're doing this. I texted Zach the following Tuesday. It was supposed to be a Wednesday. I texted him that morning. No response, first of all. This is also what Zach does. When he messes up socially, he just <laughs> shuts down. I had to find him because I worked at his high school last semester. I had to find him. I tracked him down in the hallway, grabbed him by the shirt, pushed him against the wall. It, this That's isn't a true. lie. This, no, this is. That's not true. It, it, That's this not true. actually happened. Stop. Yeah, I, I was did there. find him in I the hall, it. though. I pushed my little way in between him and his friend, and I said, You're good for tonight, right? You didn't respond to my text. He said, Well. <laughs> Well, I have an English project and a play. I said, great. We are doing it at seven. I can help you with your English project after school. Well, I want dad to help me because I want to build the, what was it? I ended up not building. Right, that's the first part. Uh, the Globe Theater. He was going to build I, the Globe Theater. A did you didn't even build it? Was this for he honors didn't even English? build it. He honors English class, which <laughs> I could have helped with. I bought all those snacks, <laughs> Zach. I wrote uh, a... Um, I, I wrote a different ending to the Mickey, uh, good old, good old Macbeth. The uh, Mickey. You the did Mickey. not just call uh, Macbeth the Mickey. I did. That's because, worse than high school because, the musical. Because I always got, because <laughs> people would get so mad at me. Because uh, yeah, you can't say you it. And, you can't okay. say it in the theater. You can't say it in the theater. Right. So yeah, I would I always just call it the Mickey. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so I, I ended up writing a alternate ending in iambic pictometer. I heard, and I heard it was very good. I haven't gotten to read it. Well, yet. I hope you got an F. Wow, <laughs> got a, honestly, ninety-seven. Was this was actually. this in oh. honors English? This was uh, in honors English. You know, I did my honors English on time okay, and okay. presented it. Difference, very big difference. You get to choose what you want to do, That's right? You clearly did as well. No, 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 no. We had three, like we had like three or four options. You got to choose anything. Still a choice. I programmed bro. an entire video game, right, for when I did your English project. All I'm so, saying is three or four what are you options doing? are so <laughs> so, uh, I'm very confused on these hand motions. <laughs> no, it, like if you ever listen to our podcast, it's mostly me screaming at Solomon doing annoying that things was, while we're talking. Me, uh, filing my nails. As ah, a sign language right. interpreter, no, you're noise. not making any sense. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to detract from... You should be sorry. Well, anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> We we know how Solomon feels. We'll let him right. say his mm-hmm. piece. But so Abby, you watched it. Uh, you you know it was a. I would just so you know, Zach. It was not the proper way that you screen a movie. Solomon was blabbering <laughs> nonstop. It was had, so weird. It wasn't that bad. I constant, it wasn't that constant, bad. It wasn't that bad. Constant. Yeah, I heard horror stories I from Abby. Look, man. I said that it was really funny because Solo was off the walls and Troy was, was threatening to kill him. I was doing a lot of big league chew at the time. <laughs> doing? <laughs> he did. He, did. he had hug. such a large bag of it and somehow just kept. And it was, it was crazy because Solomon watches movies with me like... 
I, and I'm, I'm not, usually I'm pretty not, chill. I just, you know, I'm not, especially at home. Yeah. At the movie theater, Don't, shut up. Yeah, like, yeah, but, yeah that's oh, horrible. I'm like at home, it's, like I'm okay with like, like yeah. general amount of appropriate chatting. Uh, yes. but this is what Solomon kept doing. He would be like, oh my God, this is my favorite song. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. And he talked through the entire song. <laughs> and, and he it, did do that. And I was like, what are you, what's happening right that now? That wasn't my fault. What? <laughs> Whose fault would it be? Yeah. It was the big league chew, guys. <laughs> no. You had also eaten, or I mean, drinking like two of those little prickly pear drinks. Those things were and those were disgusting. Yeah, they were not good. Y'all are like, absolutely repulsive. I loved them so I much. I really tried like, to act like I liked them. I tried to make it better by putting vodka in it. Even that didn't make it better. <laughs> had to pour the vodka out. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, it was so gross. Dude, it has like such a slight bit of sweetness. Oh, I love those. So, so good. Uh, prick, random prickly pear drink. Uh, if you want to sponsor us, right? <laughs> it was amazing, and I will. We are looking for sponsors. <laughs> uh, you can send Solomon some cases. We'll plug it on the show. We'll pretend to drink it. I will fill it up with uh, tap or sewage water instead. I will chug. I'll chug. We know, chug. and then you will bounce off the walls. It's so good. Yeah. So my hyperactive child was chatting through the whole thing. <laughs> but uh, so, what did you think about the music? I liked it. Um, I'm trying to remember what songs I liked. It's hard because we did plan this weeks and weeks ago. Not did. only did Zach not come to the screening, okay, but then we haven't been able to plan this time to yeah. record. And I did warn you guys that my memory dwindles every single Just day. Saying, you guys watched it a long time ago. I watched it last night. Right. So, I should have honestly done worst. that again. So probably. my my I think I might have the freshest memory on this. You probably do. Yeah, but your memory is full of hate. <laughs> we wow. don't want to hear your memory. <laughs> yeah. I've been listening to it like for Hours. hours no, we're, hey, we're hours. listening to what Abby has to say. Abby, about what do you the have movie. to say? <laughs> um, I think that the mom was not a very good singer. Mm -hmm. okay. Neither was the dad. Rude. Nope, neither is Pierce but Brosnan. Not Back to the Mamma Mia comparisons. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember. I said th I thought that they did a really good job intertwining them. There was a couple that were like, yeah, a little bit of a stretch, but I couldn't tell you which ones they were. I don't remember. I remember thinking that though. I think I think you know. the I think the one song that I would say is like. It's a really fun song, so I wouldn't want him to cut it. But it was the one that yeah. I would say is the most fillery. Is whenever she's, um, she's like at her job at the museum, and oh. she's like singing with her boss. Mm -hmm. I like that song. You sing that song all the time. It's a great song, but I'm just saying, as far as like the yeah. plot goes, it yeah. definitely is kind of it like how can we yeah. cram this song in here? Because they didn't want to right. cut it. Because like I said, it is yeah. a, right. it is a good it's song. It's a really good song. Which, I mean, they did that well. I think but. his name was Harry. The the guy right. at the museum, the main loved. man, the main boss been loved. man. Yeah, should have been I, loved. I just felt like it was he was so awkward. Yeah. I didn't understand because like, there was supposed to be that subplot that he liked like her, he but liked it wasn't her, expanded. But it, yeah, at all. not at all. Um, it was just very so, strange. Yeah. I felt like they definitely had more with him, and they, uh, they, and got, they, and they cut, cut it. it. Yeah. yeah, so do I. Because the the whole movie is so nice. Mm -hmm. That having a weird love triangle where maybe she's going to have a current affair, yeah. right. I feel like was just going to be a little bit too mean for the right. movie. But they still kept the undertones. The un with yeah, that. which made it feel really <laughs> it strange. Weird. It was yeah, worse. It, it, I agree <laughs> because, like, like she already kind of comes across in a way that is, you know, kind of a I guess sexist trope where the wife is being like naggy and rude because she definitely doesn't come across oh very well because yeah. no. he had the affair. Like 25 20, years, 25 ago. Yeah. years yeah. ago. And then she's like having to say, so I have, I, I can a hundred percent imagine that it read well in the script. Mm -hmm. And then when they're editing the movie, you're like, she's turning into the villain and she right. shouldn't she be the shouldn't. villain. Yeah. And um, because if you have her telling that guy he can't see his daughter, right? That yeah. he just found out about, and, and she's also, starting to have yeah. an affair. That's too much. Then yeah, you, you have her. Yeah. Need some that. redeemable <laughs> qualities. Solomon, your thoughts? On the movie? On the music. We're talking about the music, music right now. Still? It's oh a gosh. musical. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We've just been talking about the music for a long time. Um, I love the music. I've been listening to it nonstop. Really? Constantly. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, I've said it multiple times. Yeah, that was so the joke. Sort of um, yeah. Couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I thought it was really good. I have one song. Okay, I have two songs that I love. But there was one song that I don't know the name of. That you but don't like or you do love? That I love oh. the cinematography of. Mm. Okay. And I don't know what it's called, but it's a Is song. It the, sing, us a, with, sing us a few bars. I don't know the song at all. I don't know it in my head at all, in any way, shape, or form. Okay. I can't even imagine where it is. Imagine? Imagine. I, I, I think I could guess 
which what it is. You can guess the song. Or I could or I, guess I could guess is. where it is because okay. uh, I think I have the same sentiment. Um, so a song that you love, a song that the but cinematography the, the, the cinematography was really good. Is it where like he's thinking about asking um, the girl to marry him? Is that what you're talking about? That, where he's thinking that, about it, or is where, it like, where he's like Let's he's in the married. bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I want to be song. with oh, you. That was not the oh, one never I was mind then. Never mind. I really like the cinematography on that. Yeah, that's fun. I, you know, which, which part? Which just I'm, thinking, I'm talking, thinking of the one where it, they were on the tables and the sh- there was like their shadows overlooking. That's the the love things. song. Yeah. Yeah, where they it's filmed in silhouette. A lot of it. I think I remember. Yeah. It's the it's yeah. the it's the song where he says um, the the line from the song is like um, um like in. Uh, Ireland, we see our reflection through a dirty glass. And he says something about his eyes. No, that's not the same song. That is the same song. No way, because that's the song that they sing when they're on the rooftop. That's the same song. The rooftop is the... That's Misty Blue? Yep. No way that's Misty Blue. I love that song. Okay, (laughs) we'll sing that song for us then. Go ahead. I don't know that song. Like I, I mean, you I could sing it. It was so weird because he was singing it like the other day. <laughs> I could sing it, but I can only. S- Let's hear. We'll it. just sing that but part. I don't want to sing the girl's part. I, 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 I so embarrass myself. Really? Because you were singing the girl part <laughs> hardcore, and you kept being like, "Listen to my falsetto. Soprano, Listen guys. to my falsetto." Are you really? <laughs> I said no. Oh, that'd be awesome. Um, but he was singing the girl and the guy part. Please I don't do know. it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't remember the part of the dirty, the dirty glass. No, I can't. <laughs> The dirty, dirty, the dirty glass. glass. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what that glass has been up to. Um, it's like, when I do a Scottish accent, I've I sound like eyes. Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I looked up the lyrics. Do you want this? Is by Dorothy Moore. Yep, that's it. That bish was not in this movie. Bish? <laughs> I said bish. I was being appropriate. Making sure. Making sure. Here, Solomon. Yeah, here's the let's lyrics. Hear a little, let's hear a little. Is this the right song? Uh, it should be. Hey. On a dirty glass. Yeah. There you go, Trent. Yeah. It's your dirty. It's dirty. Dirty glass. Oof. Roy. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the part I always sing. Okay, we'll sing then it. do it. No. Yes. Wait, I, this this is is a, this is a, I know the audio, lyrics to that a, part. I just don't want to sing that part because it's too well, high. Well, then sing the other part. It's yeah, too high. I have the all lyrics the lyrics. There. There. All the parts it's are there. Yeah, but I don't know any. I don't know the tune. Yes, you do. You love the song. You said yeah, you but love I it. One part. We'll sing the one I part. Love, but that, stop <laughs> doing this to me, guys. Let me see. Let me see the I'm lyrics. I'm gonna vomit. You're gonna vomit. <laughs> yes. It's a cool case. Is that just your phone? It's your literally phone literally just, just clear. Your phone is yellow. Yeah. That's so cool. Did you crack it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Got me. Silly That's, uh, goose. What all those little Mine's lines green. are. Silly goose. You have yeah, a green it's phone? actually it actually you is do. a. Um, Really hard to know what how the tune exactly goes <laughs> based on reading that. Anyway, Wait. great song, we all love it, but none of us know how to sing it or how it goes. We can't even hum you a single bar. There you go. You just made a yeah. liar out of him. I know. All right. Well, we uh, at least made it through the round robin yeah. uh, about the music, so we're gonna take another quick break, and we'll be right be back. Song. And now, a word from our sponsors. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Do you hear that? It's coming from the house. It's coming from inside the house? Uh, do you mean, could it be? The Bolter House. New from Rogue Media, two haunted hotties talking about haunted places. Every episode, we dive deep into the darkest places and give you a bit of history. We're getting spooky in all the right places. You've gobbled your last ghoul. Follow along for the craziest and spookiest stories with Debbie's Dark Tourism. The Stanley Hotel, Winchester House, The Alamo, Hotel Monte Vista, and more spooky places. Find us at the underscore Poltergals. P-O-L-T-E-R-G-A-L-S. Look over your shoulder. It's us, the Poltergals. Wherever you consume the podcast, you can find us there. (laughs) 
Um, what are we doing here, Rusty? What are we going to do? Uh, yep, we're doing the uh, King of the Hill Rewatch Podcast. King of the Hill yes, Rewatch Podcast. Yeah, so we're going to go through one episode at a time. Uh, come along for the ride with us. Come check it out. And hey, give me give me a good, um, like, Dale Gribble quote to go out on. Wingo! Yeah, Wingo. <laughs> Wingo. Wingo. All right, well, join us, uh, join us for uh, the uh, King of the Hill Rewatch Podcast. In the heart of Texas, that drinks his brew and he spits his shoe. Maybe in the heart of Texas, the TV players, but no one cares. Maybe in the heart of Texas. Here we go. And welcome back to the Kid Stays in the Podcast. And our discussion of the movie, kind of, Sunshine <laughs> on Leith, the Scottish musical um, that has divided the room. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. That's Game quite Thrones. the description. Yeah. I, feel like it, I feel like it has kind of divided the room a little bit. Oh. I mean, just to, like maybe Zach's just here. I just felt like I heard him say <laughs> two, and I... I, I never I, finished I, my... <laughs> Were you going to say 200? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Out of 10,000. <laughs> exactly. Good one. There Thanks. we go. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, 10, 000, I think, uh, so for the most part, uh, we all like the, the music, mm -hmm. which is yeah. a helpful mm -hmm. thing for, for yeah, a musical. musical. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think, uh, you know, that's uh, getting us halfway there. <laughs> yeah. At least. That's Zach's first star. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I want to talk about a little bit about like the uh, the performers because I do think that so they, they got some talented Scottish Very character tall. actors yeah. to to play the parents. What were you saying? Oh. <laughs> We are talking about the parents. You were just talking about the performers. I said very tall, oh. except in the case of Ali. Yeah, Ali, who was a... Uh, short. Actually, I don't think he was that short. It's probably not she short. That girl tall. was short. Exactly. We looked him yeah. up. He was like, he was... He's 5'7", and she's 5'10". That's yeah, not tall. She, she's just probably really tall. Short? I didn't... I just said he wasn't that yeah, short. Yeah, but before, you were like, tall. he's yeah. the shortest man I ever did see. Yeah, the whole oh, entire time I ever did see. The shortest man I ever did see. While we were watching the movie, Abby was like, how many apple boxes does they have him standing on? Does they have him standing on? I have never said that since. It's she thought he was a leprechaun, yeah. and I was like, "That's Ireland. This is Scotland." Right. I just you're so mispresenting this um, situation. I just thought it was interesting that she was taller than him. Why? Why can't there be yeah, tall women? I didn't say. Why can't we just? Can we represent the tall women in the world I right love now? Tall we love short men. kings or short men. Yes. Yeah. I feel like in this case, it's uh, a combination of both. Yeah. I feel like both. I. <laughs> Good I've been one. made out to be this hateful <laughs> height person. I was just surprised because normally in casting they wouldn't do something like that. Well, maybe they every movie Tom Cruise is in. I have not mm. seen them. <laughs> Any of them? <laughs> Probably not. None. <laughs> Name a Tom Cruise movie. Mission Impossible. Nope. Mission haven't seen it. Name me another one. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> 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 Zach and I have taken two very, very rudely clapping at people's jokes yeah. in the most. Yeah. Oh, I was just planning on making a bunch of uh, terrible puns. Right. That wasn't mm. even a pun. That was it just, wasn't. Yeah. just bad. <laughs> oh. Top Gun. Also, I'm going to nope. get made fun of for wearing really short shorts again because every time I sit in this chair, the shorts ride up and then Maybe people make fun of my legs. <laughs> no, no, no way. In the no, podcast, they don't. People <laughs> on Instagram, <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Oh, the listeners, really? the listeners uh, have made jokes comments? about it. We get nothing. <laughs> my 15 year old friend went. Donald, why did you have to specifically say <laughs> I didn't his age. I, think, I just think it's funnier. He said, "We did laugh." He said, it's true. "Donald, please pull up your shorts or pull down." Donald, your yes, that's my name. No, it's not. Really? Donald Wayne Cooper the third. Name. No, why do Donald? you know by Trey? Because did you hear what my real name was? <laughs> Wait, your name's Donald Wayne. That's Donald so Wayne Cooper the third. The third. Wow. So there's been Three. others. Yeah. Yeah, clearly it's others. Several. No, they actually just started there. <laughs> my dad, such, such a good bit. My dad's do like, that, I do want. That 100%. <laughs> my dad's like, I want you to sound like a duke. 
Wait, so Trey is just a chosen? Like it has nothing to do? Uh, no, it's a third. So if you meet anybody, <laughs> just Trey. if you meet anybody named the, if you meet anyone named Trey, they are the third of something else. Oh, they're not. That's not their name. Re- that's really no way. Yeah, Every single person I yeah. guarantee I'm, you. I'm gonna Trey. have to name my son Trey just to prove that wrong. <laughs> also, another okay. thing that has to a spell is that my friend is the fourth, and for some reason they call him Drew because of quadruple. Just, that's just, so interesting. I didn't know a really cinco. Cool. No, you didn't. Uh-huh. Yes, I did. <laughs> I went to school with the Cinco because he was the fifth. You're joking. I'm not kidding at all. See, he look at in how interesting class. the world this of is names is. I've <laughs> never heard any of like Cinco. That's really interesting. Yeah, we all called him that's Cinco. That's also kind of a mm-hmm. dumb name. So I think we've convinced you guys all to watch Sunshine on Leaf <laughs> yes. at this point. Um, I, my um, whole universe is shattered by the fact that your name's Donald. That's well, so that, I don't want to tell people it. Thanks, Solomon. You're welcome. Now Donald. all the listeners know. Yeah, that's well, crazy. clearly they already did because that's how it came up. Yeah. True, 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 true. So back to the acting right. in this movie. All I was gonna say is just that the the character actors they chose like play like the parents. They're like kind of the anchors because they had they were casting people that needed to be able to sing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they cast them from from the Broadway or the West End show mm. or not. Um, I would. I feel like no. They didn't seem like Broadway people. The well, parents specifically. The parents I'm talking about were not. Oh, okay. but I'm talking about the. The younger oh, people. So okay. they so in Scotland they probably need some names as you know, that's why Pierce yeah. Brosnan was in Mamma Mia. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> gonna have to keep doing it. But uh but they they weren't great singers. But yeah. I will say that the the parents do sing my favorite song in the movie, and again it's because of the way it's shot and edited, mm-hmm. which uh is Letters from America, which I think is an amazing song. I never heard it before. That is the part, by the way, whenever I was like, This is my favorite movie of all time was like Oh yeah. If you go, what are you gonna say? What were you gonna say, you what, never, no. Zachary? What? I, I was assuming you were making a reference to when the watch party happened. No, he's oh. just no, saying he's that. Talking, was he's in just his talking first. about the movie. Oh. Wow, yeah, you yeah, yeah. are I so really, dumb right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I make fun of you. Thanks. Of course. Um, but no, letters from America is like a great song, and like the the older actors like. They're not singers. It's mm. pretty clear. Yeah. But they can carry a tune sure. enough. Enough. They're just yeah. not able to belt it. Like the younger, some right. of the younger. And the mom was people. just given some hard songs. I hate Like her. they yeah. really screwed her up. Because the dad had like more like group. She was just shot of her face. And she poorly had, singing. Yeah. They're, they're intense songs. And they're like the dad, they were able to just let him kind of talk sing. Yeah. yeah. The songs that she was given, you can't yeah. talk sing. Right. Mm-hmm. Through. You should just be better. All right. I dislike Sorry that everyone's not as skilled and theatric as you, so I'm not even that good. Right, you didn't get into Cinderella. She's the worst. (laughs) Yeah. She wouldn't get into Cinderella either, okay? Mm. I bet she would. I I bet she I think she would have gotten into Cinderella. She was in Unless she also auditioned for legally blonde, (laughs) apparently you can't get (laughs) it. I feel like with her um at least movie credit of being in Sunshine and Leith, that would give her enough to get in our local production of Cinderella. (laughs) I would be fine. But yeah, I, I so I thought that like performance wise, um, I thought everybody was was at least the acting part was great. Yeah. And yeah. some of the, the ones that weren't strong singers, like the dad character, he more than makes up for the fact yeah. that he's not that strong of a yeah. singer because his performance his was just yeah, really, good. really good. Really yes. really good. You, I definitely thought he was the best actor. Yeah. He's he was really good. Um Sorry. Why? I'm singing the song. Yeah, See, but do, we do asked understand? for that. Do you understand what it's like? <laughs> Imagine when it's just me and him in here. I'll be talking to him and he'll just start doing other <laughs> random stuff. It's not my fault. One time we were talking and he started doing this. <laughs> <laughs> he doing and I was like, what are you doing? doing? And he's like, I'm just doing stuff with my hands. <laughs> oh, the turtle thing? Right? For yeah. no reason what whatsoever. <laughs> Um, all right, I think well, Solo and I just should have yeah. our own podcast. Yeah, you guys sure. just do a show <laughs> on That's your own. Silent. <laughs> just, <laughs> I mean, the, the the subject will just have to be like you nothing. Be, That'll be like the I name was of the say, podcast. It could be the kid finally snores. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're already get, doing spinoff shows. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, we're 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 coming up on time, and I don't think we're going to have any more um, deep, insightful things. So let's just do a quick. Couple go around of talk about things we liked about the movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, go like around, a, talk about the things that you liked about the movie, things you didn't like. Feel free to interject at any point, anyone, and then give it your final arbitrary rating scale. But it has to be make some, some kind of sense. sense. Sure. When, yeah, I, you when we brought like, my my friend Katie on, I told her it was an arbitrary rating system, and she just said like seventy cannonballs. I'm like, 
But like out of what? Like you know what I mean? Like it has to be. No, that makes sense to like, me. It needs to like have something. Yeah, Tell I rate everything. Like twenty five. Yeah. I don't. If you can say seventy cannonballs, seven. but you have to say like out of a hundred or right. you know, something, yeah. so we get an idea of like how you felt about it. Sure. Uh, so yeah, let's and start with Solomon. So we have so we can uh, and we'll go out on Zach. So we go on the negative note. Actually, we'll go out on me. <laughs> That'll be positive. What is the actual order? <laughs> Wait, well, I feel, I feel like, like I was thinking. I'm thinking like this. Let's just, yeah, let's just go counterclockwise. You did not just call no, me that. I said counterclockwise. <laughs> I, said, I said this first, okay? So he was watching Peter Griffin earlier, and it was the episode where he has to learn about how to treat women properly. I love women. Um, <laughs> clockwise. You're holding on to like you're a stand-up comedian, so it really made it sound insincere. <laughs> What's the deal with women? Uh, uh, I love them. <laughs> Everyone needs a secretary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, a couple things. I love the stair, the stair, the stair shot with the the please don't go rushing by. Mm -hmm. uh, that song's really good. Make my heart fly is what that's called. Mm -hmm. It's a really well choreographed a little that scene so too. Yeah. yeah. A little stairs. They put in. them on the steps so that they show that their height difference isn't. Do you want my dad to correct you again? <laughs> No, actually, in film, that's to show who Just so has you know, the power. So I already knew that already Abby was gonna be like, was gonna be like, oh, I know this guy's gonna be like doing snobby film things but she said it a couple of times and i just uh i said couldn't, more than a couple i just times. couldn't i couldn't let it go anymore we were just talking about like how like like oh i feel like they put him up on the stairs so that he would look taller i than said her. it once that was the first yeah, time i mentioned it, it. She, she, but it was, was but there. it was reverberating in my head so for me <laughs> <laughs> with the echo uh, 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 um yeah i really like that shot i love that song and um yeah honestly a lot of great. I, I loved. I loved. I loved the women. Um, I bet you did. No, he really did. He had such a crush on that one girl. Dude, he would not stop. She hit that note. The, so the girl who looks like she's from High School mm, Music. Yeah. I know exactly yeah. who you're talking about. She hit that note so. <laughs> he also, good. apparently, had she a crush hit that on note her. so good though, and I could not get it out of my head. I bet. Mm. I mean, she was really good, but I thought she, she just was. looked very generic. Yeah. yeah, she was pretty, but she Solo was infatuated. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um, I love that word. Infatuated. infatuated. I love Me too. It. I like to use it as often as possible, but I don't want to like. Oh, yeah, would yeah. you say? Would you like... say you're infatuated with that word? <laughs> Perhaps. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Good job. Ooh, how embarrassing. <laughs> A little. Uh, anyway, was that the end of your commentary? Um, so yeah, I think so. I just just loved it. Love, 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 love it, love it. And you, how, what would you rate it? I'd rate it. Oh my goodness. Um, I have to give it like. 10 Scottish cities out of oof what a terribly horrible rating system <laughs> <laughs> that's really rude you know what I'm not even gonna finish it just 10 Scottish cities you'll never know out of what you'll never know dad that's your fault your turn Abby 10 out of 10 from Solomon <laughs> <laughs> um I liked it what I can remember um <laughs> <laughs> my memory loss is really getting me. I was hoping it would come back more. I think I do remember it though a little. And when I I enjoyed it, I also don't have any movies to like compare it to. You know what I mean? Mama, like, I mean, Mama this, Mia. <laughs> Mama Mia. This Shrek Three. Shrek which one, Three. Which one's oh, better? you can't even. They're just not even in the same league, <laughs> dude. Shrek Three is no. You know what? Zootopia is. Zootopia. Hey, Zootopia is actually really good. Thank though. you. That's the, okay, but that's the only thing <laughs> she, she knows. She, every single time is Utopia. She, yeah, yes. like, just it like, like that three one times. thing is Utopia. It's my only frame she, of reference. She it's not it. even a musical though, so I don't think it counts. She did it, it has three music in times. It. Well, Shakira, so, Shakira. This podcast they, has music those in it, but I don't call it a musical. Those tigers. Woo. I'm gonna need you to <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah, thirst a, over animals right at now. At the end of the movie, the bestiality is too much. Yeah. Um. <laughs> no, I enjoyed it. I think that. I would give it 12 long lost daughters out of 16. Sounds good. I can't I can't do the math in my head. I'm For very bad at math. Me neither. I got you. It would be 3 out of 4, so it's 75%. Oh, wow, it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I would say 75%. Of uh, that was I really enjoyed the cinematography of it cuz it was it was to a point where it was really unique in places where you could be like, "Oh, that's cool," but it wasn't like it wasn't like a director trying to be like overly right. do it, where you're like, that's all that. Yeah, like, Dexter Fletcher, he's a he's an yeah, understated yeah, yeah, director. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's but a like, film guy it wasn't there. distracting. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. But then there were definitely parts where you're like, oh, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, especially, I loved the shot of the um, uh, of the stairs. It was just uh, when it showed the. <laughs> you know why they do that? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no, but I love the shot of um, like when they're doing the Mary thing mm -hmm. uh, in the bar, and it has this long shot of all those patrons, yeah. uh, and then they go through it. I really like that. Um, but yeah, I think I give it probably. Um, I give it. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Two point <laughs> five Cinderella auditions out of five. <laughs> out of five. Out of five. At fifty percent. Yeah. What was the issue though? What was the problem? I just felt like it was too predictable. It's just a fun movie. I, it's a fun movie. So it was like on the edge of tears. But, um, right and, uh, Did you say the same thing about the sound of music? You're like, oh, <laughs> well, we knew the Nazis were going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've seen that. And then I, hey. I also thought just the one relationship I couldn't. Like it would, everything went too fast. It I was felt the height like. difference. No, um, with I can't remember the girl who looks like she's from High School Musical. Yeah, and yes, that guy, I agree. It felt I agree. so fast and forced, and then on yeah. like when they get together, break up, and then yeah. get back together, yeah, it just felt so agree. forced. But I did really enjoy the relationship with Allie and the other girl. And then yeah, the, the, and the they're and they're like Do their you know breakup actually like made a lot of sense. Yeah, right. I, so. And part of this might have been like it's difficult to understand the movie, mm -hmm. like the like you said, yeah. the Scottish accents. But they they establish pretty early that those two people kind of have known each other, right? For, yeah, right. yeah. So it makes a little bit more sense, right? That they mm -hmm. they were like friends before, and now they finally got together. Yeah. But I will say that whenever they break up at the end, yeah. that was the dumbest <laughs> break. And, oh, and yeah. the romantic sure. comedies are full of dumb breakups. Right. The reason for it is just so stupid. Yeah. yeah. What was it? It was like. Would you fight for me? Fight? No, if was, I was would you, if I went to yeah. Eng, if I went to England, would, would you come? come would you me? come with me? And he's like, no. And that's a fair. But, but, he didn't but even say no. Though. No, he's like, he said I'm not serious. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like, he's like, well, if you went to England, I mean, we'd still make it. It'd be fine. Yeah. It's like, but you wouldn't come. He's like, we well, didn't ask me to do that. And she's like, that's it. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. Oh, so stupid. I have to. I will agree with that. Yeah. Um. The all. All of their relationship felt full. I don't know why I keep doing this. Yeah, I don't know either. So, you're uh, see, learning for from those of you who are just listening, he's, he's doing a really here. weird thing with his hand where he's like grabbing his behind and he's rubbing <laughs> the top of his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah he looks like a little dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yep. you're, so, you know dogs and they're yeah. grabbing their behind. <laughs> um, yeah, so obviously I've made it very clear that I love this mm -hmm. movie right. uh, front to back. Um, I do think that there's like the, the dumb breakup thing. Yeah. I will say that I is idiotic mm -hmm. but that's what gets us to the 500 miles yes. song at right. the end and I, I think that we've talked enough about the music i'm not going to go over I, I there's almost no for me weak songs in the bunch there's yeah. a couple that feel like they're they had to M force them a little yeah. bit into the into the movie but 500 miles is a song that i think all of us have listened to a, yeah 500 times right. at least and um at least. the way that they were able to Restage that song to where it actually felt like a huge triumphant yeah. moment was so surprising to me. I mean, I've, I've heard it so many times. Yeah. So the the way that they were able to like remix it mm -hmm. and do like all the the staging and kind of went full full musical, right? Um, makes it worth it that they did the cheesy run to the train station sure. or whatever mm -hmm. to get the girl thing. Um, but one of the the one thing that I would like to say is that the song um the uh song that solomon kept singing the part about losing your virginity um but over and done with if you listen to that song it's like i said it's a very upbeat i keep hitting the microphone i shouldn't do that Stop doing um it, it's a very upbeat poppy song and the way that they were able to make it about three different characters mm -hmm. and one of them being yeah. a nurse like watching someone dying and then like you know really bringing down right. the tempo and the melody of the song yeah. for that little part um that was they did a lot of really really clever yeah stuff like that in this musical so yeah i mean for for a modern musical using a fairly i mean i think what is it 70s early 80s i think is when that album came out mm -hmm. uh and then also for me like having it come out of the blue yeah this just normally wouldn't right happen um yeah it was a incredible breath of fresh air and i have been trying to get every single theater to put it <laughs> on the show but i imagine we'll get stuck in the same quagmire they got into with copyright issues of uh mm, yeah probably i would say that was the hardest song to understand um uh, for me oh the one the, the, the one yeah, me too. yeah 
um, I, I got the over and done with part. Um, <laughs> and you're like, but, I'm over and done with this movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that, that was the hardest. Yeah, that was the biggest laugh. So you win the <laughs> biggest laugh award. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was, I, I think the hardest one to understand uh, was, was it the the girl who looks like she's from High School Musical, was she the one that... Yeah, we should nurse, remember yeah. her name. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought, because I remember... I, I, hang on, I have her I have her up here, so keep, keep oh, going. Yeah. So I remember it, like, it slowing down, and then everyone, like, looking at her, and then her, like, being sad, and, and I had no earthly idea what they said. Yeah. Really? Do you want me to tell you? Yes, please do. So it was, this is a song about watching a man die in... Yeah. Something, something, <laughs> I felt like crying, yeah. I think. Mm. And nice then it's stars. like... Um, I acted like a sinner. I washed my hands and, and went I just for went dinner. for my dinner. Yeah. Mm. Um. So she feels bad because okay. you know she she let a man die. Yeah. Right. She, yeah. Or she watched a man die and then yeah. she just went to go right. have some Live food. Because mm-hmm. she's a nurse. Right. So yeah. Yeah. Right. Got it. So Got it. um, that song's really good. Is your rating system going up? So three. <laughs> three oh out no. Of five? No. The only reason it's it added the point five is because of five hundred miles. Mm. Um. It was, it was like before two? that I was gonna give it a one. A two. two. Just so you know, he watched it on his phone while he was uh, <laughs> between classes. Yeah, yeah. I bet you did. Mm-hmm. You, that would be something you would do. <laughs> that would be something I would do. Well, I'm not going to put a, a, a weird rating system. I'll just give it a, a okay. regular. Okay. Okay. That is the yeah. dumbest thing we've heard. No, and you also not only made us do it, yeah. r- like Criticize. criticized the different the systems. Ty- Oh, I just wanted to make sure that it made sense. So I just want to make sure that mine's very clear. It's okay. not oh, going to be. Okay. Also, mine was 10 out of 11, by the way. You'd never specify that. Yeah, that's true. I know. So I it's fair 10. that he yeah. assumed what he did. I know. I'm just letting you know. Okay, 10 cool. Out of 11. So what's yours? Know. Yeah, what's yours? Oh, I, I'll, I'll, oh. I'll give it uh, five, uh, 499 out of 500 miles. Mm, that, that was, was really good. That was good. Good, good one, good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us for this episode of Kids Stays in the Podcast. Thanks, Zach and Abby, of yeah, course. Very Pleasure, very as always. And next week, we will probably, I don't want to make any promises because we mm. lie about this a lot. Right. Way too much. I'm sorry. But we we'll probably will be talking about Top Gun unless something else comes out that we watch That's instead. better or cooler or more fun. So, yeah. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Ba-dum. Follow us on Instagram at the Kid in the Pick and on RogueMediaNetwork.com. Till next time. This has been a Rogue Media podcast. 